<laughs> Hello everyone, we are back. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. So, previously on Avatar, we... Uh, <laughs> no, 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 for real. Um, previously, uh, we found out that uh, Merber, yes. <laughs> Mubber, <laughs> Mubber, uh, Tis. Um, so previously, uh, Sonic got got murdered. <laughs> From what we can tell, Sonic actually got murdered, and um, so Nate Jr. and Tails have to find out what's going on. Uh, that's basically it. So, oh yes, uh, okay, uh, trash can, something's always in the, hidden in the trash, let's check there. I hate to say it, but there's nothing here. <sighs> I really thought there'd be something there. Hey, Junior, are you sad there was nothing in the trash bin? N no, no, uh, no, I'm alright. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure there'll be something hidden in the next trash bin we find. You really think so? Um, yeah, I just says uh, stay optimistic. Yeah, yeah, okay. Those trash bins had a secret, I'm sure of it. Nate, Junior, you're pretty unconventional, but I like that. Uh, was that supposed to be a compliment? Table. Uh, let's just let's take a pause and sit for a second. These chairs are very comfy, so plush, puts me right in the mood to read. Makes me want to take a nap, personally. Someone poisoned his chili dogs? I didn't make it far in the stream before passing out, I'm just guessing. Oh, no, we have no idea what happened. We have no idea what happened, actually. <laughs> we have no idea what happened. Uh, all, all, all we know is that, um, hold on, let me move down here a bit. Uh, all we know, all we know is that the train sped up really, really fast, uh, made a mess of everything, and, <laughs> and when we stopped, or when we started moving at a regular speed, uh, we just saw Sonic and the Family Guy death pose, uh, so a chili dog poisoning could be possible, yes. Yes, it could be possible, but we don't know. In fact, maybe I'll rest my eyes a bit. Hey, Junior, no, don't fall asleep. There's been a murder, remember? If I had a ring for every time a murder ruined my nap time. Oh my gosh, wait, what? <laughs> Ooh, wait, Ooh. <laughs> no, no, what he means by that. No oh, poor thing, that armor's really struggling cleaning up this car. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up all this mess either. Let's just leave it alone to do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. Uh, then Vector. Did you bring me any meat to chop? I may be a butcher, but they confis confiscated my meat cleaver before getting on the train. Did you actually try to bring a knife on the train? I'm a man of authenticity with tails. Without a knife, I'm just a chef in a ketchup stained apron, not a butcher. I think if you had a knife on you, we definitely think you were the murderer. Hmm, but what if I hid the knife? I would have two rings, which isn't that much, but it's kind of weird that it happened more than one. Oh! Uni, Uni with the Phineas and Ferb reference. Let's go. What if I hid the knife? You know, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. Can I take your order? Oh, yes, please. I'm starved. Actually, I'm off duty at the moment. The murder mystery is more important. Then why would you show the menu to me? <laughs> Come on, Nature. Why would you tease him like that? And here I thought I could trust you. You made a fool of me. <laughs> uh. Look, Nate Jr., you made him a fool. Come on, Nate Jr., smooth this over. No, I'm the fool. Yeah. Yeah. I smooth things over, but at what cost? 
I love that line. I love that line. I smooth things over, but at what cost? Oh my gosh, hold on. Oh, that's funny. Uh, what's this? Chaos Cola! Yo, I love Chaos Cola. There it is. Check out our book club. Book of the month. Gone Gal. Wow. Uh, oh no! A chow hangs precariously from a tree branch. Uh, he looks so the audacity. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what happened. It's like, oh, the audacity of showing me the menu. How could you? Uh, a chow hangs precariously from a tree branch. Tree branch. Blah, blah, blah. The large text below reads, hang in there. Wow, I really needed to see this. Huh? There's no chow hang hanging there. Refusing to use his wings to fly to safety because choosing the hard way is often the most rewarding. That's beautiful. If this child can stick to his principles and find strength, then I can too. There's no way there was that much thought put into this poster. Right? Dude. Poster go crazy. <laughs> oh, brush yours. There are, trans there are travel destinations here, like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh! Restaurant! 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 Sonic, I'm hungry! No! I'm dead, Chip! What are you talking about? Chip isn't even here! Nate Jr., take a look at this! Here's a couple maps here. This seems to be the map of the library car. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. I love a good overhead map. Let's take it. Library map added to inventory. Heck yeah. Should we take this brochure about a cave too? Look, there's, st there's stalactites. Nah, leave it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Nobody shares my fondness for caves. <laughs> Bro has a fondness for caves, man. He said, nah, let's leave it. Books. So many books on the ground, I wish I had, we had time to pick them all up. I sadly have no interest in picking up these books. A lot of these were knocked out by the train speeding up. But Rouge pulled a lot of these pulled a lot of these out too, searching for something. What reckless behavior. I just feel sorry for the poor books. The spines are creasing, they're opening too far. This kid feels empathy for everything. Dang and Rampa, but son is Bro, I have a feeling that's what it is. But you never know. Uh, I think that might be. Oh. Aha! What's this bright red book? Oh, yuck! This reeks of evil scientist Dr. Eggman. Yep, this is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. What kind of recipes? Who cares? I want to. I want to trust any book he's written. It's weird. It's weird. This is even here. Maybe people just appreciate an omelet. You may not be wrong. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. He's like, you can't. You can't just do that. Wow! I wish I could just stop and take a look at all these books. But Sonic needs me. No time to rest. All right, let's move on then. I mean a little peek when her he's scavenging through the books all the book tiles excitedly <laughs> he's like a kid in a candy shop or in this case a genius in a train library and he's just like shuffling through the books making an even bigger mess of the library starts yelling <laughs> finally I'm able to research so much now that's odd. I know some books have fallen out of the floor and everything, but every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order, but this one. It's the user's guide to the Mirage Express, the train we're currently on. Do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it is interesting. Let's make a note of this. Mirage Express manual is added to your light inventory. Uh, let me check that out, actually. Nice. <laughs> An exhaustive manual of the of the Mirage Express. 
many features and, cap and its capabilities. Doesn't seem to mention how to drive the train, which would have been neat. <laughs> wow. Um, I think that's it. I think so. Yeah. Shadow supposedly walked through the library car before going into the saloon car. When Shadow left the library car, he locked this door on the way out. But this one is unlocked. There's gotta be a reason he's doing this. Should we make a note of it? Yeah, I do believe we should. Shadow's lock has been added to your inventory. I think we found an I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Vesper Vector and <laughs> Ve Vesper and Ectigo and Vectigo. Let's interrogate Vector and Espio and find out what really happened. Fancy a poem? Uh, watch it be something like he died from chili dog overdose. Oh my gosh. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. How about a poem about space, bro? I've made it up to space with my beloved antique vase, <laughs> but a mistake in my haste. Drop the vase from my embrace, so my antique I must now replace. <laughs> that's a good one. That's actually a pretty good. That's actually a, a so. That's such a funny. That's such a funny uh, poem. I love that. What caused you to drop the vase? Don't read too deeply. It's just a poem. <laughs> he hasn't thought it through, has he? No. Oh my gosh. Interrogation. So, the two of you- So, the two of you don't believe us, eh? It's not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the validity- The validity- The validity- The validity- The validity- Without examining the validity of your alibis. Nate Jr. and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles, and if SVO really was reading in the library car. Vector, we'll start with you. Why don't you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? We're prepared to present present evidence if need. No, that's easy. I got bored. Uh. Uh. What? I wasn't entertaining him enough. It seems Vector enjoys being social. Plus, we were entrust instructed to mingle. I remember the arcade machine was in the saloon car, so I figured I'd go check it out. This seems to line up with the information we gathered with Knuckles. Then that brings our attention to you, SBO. Rouge entered the library card, found something, then left. You said you immediately started reading, but were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? Of course he was! Uh, Once SBO starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen. It must have been a good read. What was the book? Mm. Aspiro doesn't owe you that, detective. Let the man live. What if it was embarrassing? What kind of things do you think I read? If you don't want to talk, I have a hunch of what, of, on what the book might be. Nate Jr., can you help me out? Uh, Alright, Nate Jr., what book do we think Aspiro may have been reading? A manual? You think Espio was reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? Oh boy, here we go. Here we go, chat. Oh man. I knew it! We got this, Nick Jr. Try again. Hold on, I'm close to figuring it out. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, no! You both crashed me, I knew it! I knew it! Quiet, SP. Quiet, I'm playing my GBA. Come on, calm down. No! Dang it. Try again. Do it again. Do it again. Yeah, 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 I got 63 rings. Heck yeah. Nate, Nate Jr.'s dream gear. There are books scattered all around the flat. Uh, the, 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 the what? <laughs> there are books scattered around the floor, sure, but the remaining books on the shelves were all in alphabetical order. All except this manual. Meaning someone, at the very least, picked up the manual and put it back in the incorrect place. <clears throat> This lack of attention to detail isn't normally like you, SPL. Hey now! I won't have you insulting my pal like- Calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. <laughs> POV every mobile game ad. <laughs> That's true. It's true. Apologies, SPL. A butcher and a poem. Friendship can form anywhere. That is indeed the book I was reading. The Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual, Nate Jr., if you don't mind. <laughs> Could you ask SPL some questions about the manual? Just flip to a page and ask away. No, oh, I see. Quiz SPL about the manual to prove you read it. Which page should I quiz him on? Uh, 97. Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. I remember the conductor saying the train could clean itself. No, I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought into the train, ensuring passenger safety. Seems like SBO aced that question. Nate Jr., hit him with another one. Oh, okay. Which page do I choose? 231. What's the Mirage's Express cancellation policy? The existence of a butcher indicates there's an existence of cannibalism in the Sonic lore. Nah, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no refunds and you will be charged a no-show fee. This does not apply if you're over the age of 65. Gee. The person who made this role must have been over 65. Last one, Nate Jr. Let's see if SPO can go for three for three. Gotcha. Which page should I pick last? Uh, 16. What was implemented to support the conductor duties and ease general train obligations? An, intelli an intelligent data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to ensure smooth travel for guests. I remember this. I remember this, the train has an autopilot, but it can't access its full suite of capabilities without the conductor present. Okay, great, now you got me thinking. Y yeah, yeah, Dumbledore said. <laughs> Did you write your name in, in the Cabinet of Fire? Harry Potter, you, you put your name in the Cabinet of Fire. That's not, uh, that's not his voice, but... I'm, I tried. <laughs> but now you got me thinking. Now you got me thinking about that. Oh my gosh. There is cannibalism in the Sonic universe. Oh my gosh. Hey, Sonic. What are you doing? Sonic? Who is that? It's my uncle. Help me. No! Sonic! What are you doing? I'm eating my uncle. <laughs> Genuinely delicious. Mm. Wow. Could use some more ketchup, though. <laughs> Did you write your name in that goblet of fire? Dumbledore asked calmly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Now, did I pass your little test? 
Uh, yeah, you did. Totally. It's wild you were able to retain all this information so quickly. Out of context clip, yeah. A brain's poet is often surprising. I don't know if I'd be bragging, bragging about that. You've clearly read the manual. Those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. And you both had the nerve to question my body like that. Don't we want... Don't we want to be supporting folks who read? You have to admit though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. But he answered all my questions so calmly. That's very impressive. No, no, I understand everyone's... Hey, I had a hiccup. No, no, I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me reading after all. My alibi is hard to subs... Substantiate! Substantinate! Ugh. Despite everyone being the truth. Despite being the truth. Uh. Well, you definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we could. Espio, is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading? Yes, that's correct. Problem? Frankly, I don't believe that can be true, and we have evidence to back it up. Nate Jr.? <laughs> he always puts me on the spot! Okay, Nate Jr., think. We have a piece of evidence leaked to someone who saw Espio reading, but what? Oh, Shadow's Lock. Shadow's Lock? Please, pray tell. What has this have to do with anything? We're up, Nate Jr. Let's get our argument together. Oh boy, here we go. 50 rings? Right on 70. Yeah, baby. Ah. I'm, my hands are itchy, so I'm just slapping them. <laughs> slap, 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 slap. Slap my arms. Oh, no. My hands are... My arms are itchy. What do I do? Slap it. Shadow walked through the library. Shadow walked through the library car to the, get to the saloon car, where he set the original high score to the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it. It wasn't the high score long. Crocs are natural gamers. <laughs> Crocs are natural gamers. What a wild sentence. That's so funny. Espio said he saw Shadow enter the library car, but he's mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, Espio was fully seated reading his book for a good while at this point. <laughs> we know Shadow had to walk back to the library card when he left the saloon car, so there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another in Shadow's return trip. <laughs> I, I mean, it was a simple slip up. I was just fully immersed in my book that I didn't notice Shadow. You're telling me the sound of doors opening and locking when it caused you to look up? I, I, I see. I can sense Espio's desperation here, defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. So if we didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors, then at that moment, were you really in the library car at all? But why, why would Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. It's a mystery, my dear Nate Jr. And no, and that I would love for Espio to solve. I gotta believe me. That cruel demeanor is vanishing. I was so involved with that book, I didn't notice Shadow passed back through the library car. Honest. Then Vector returned. He even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I think I remember doing that. I must avenge my friend's death. So I'll ask you again, Espio. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? I wasn't. I didn't... Then why doesn't it seem right to me? Tails definitely feels like he's onto something, but I don't see it. Was Espio simply sitting reading? Or did he somehow vanish to not notice Shadow's return to the library car? What should I do? Uh, I 
want to join Tails because he's my favorite, but I un I understand what Espio means. Uh, Espio, I have to make sure the guests are taken care of, so I have to speak up. Tails, huh? We have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. All right, my fellow associate, lay it on me. What piece of evidence shows Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another? Let's get my thoughts in order. <laughs> You're right. Bro, I'm gaming now. That wasn't gaming. That wasn't gaming either. That wasn't gaming either. Sorry. Whoops. <laughs> I felt so close. I'm gonna give it another go. That's what I'm saying. I felt I felt close too. gaming now nice literally ding and rampa and ace attorney yes i love those games though well ding and rampa i haven't played but i watched the game grumps play it <laughs> yo shout out to game grumps the library map oh Oh, I see. See the exit? They're right across from each other. A straight path. If, wa if Shadow walked down a straight path, there's no way Espio and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. Looks like you have to point where exactly on the map you mean. Where could Espio have been or Shadow to not see him? Interesting. That's where I was sitting reading my book. I can circuit this when I return to the new car. Espio was in the exact same spot. That confirms it. Then, you see, Shadow and Espio could have seen one another from the spot because a bookcase is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio or vice versa. You should to totally check stream clips for real, 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 for real. Uh, I totally should, honestly. Even check the clips that people made. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know if anyone. I don't know if I can. Yeah, I don't think I can. I'd like to, but maybe I just can't. Uh, it makes a lot of sense why you never mentioned Shadow's return, SBL. There's just no way you could have seen him. I apologize for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was grasping despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you all believe me now. Your alibi isn't the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you for in both answering thank you both for answering all our questions. In the Discord server? Oh I got you, I got you. <laughs> hold on, hold on.
I love the... I love this music. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> this part is so good. That's real close. That's real good. <laughs> I love that clip. That's such a good clip. All right. <laughs> That's a good clip. We, we did it. Another pair of alibis validated. Ba -da 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 -da. Too many locked doors to worry about, uh, but I'm glad everything straightened itself out in the end. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Sadly, her work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Brood, Rouge, and especially Shadow. No, it seems the door to the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open while she passed through earlier. And that's our cue to leave. See you later, Vector and SBL. Give him heck! And if you need any meat chopped up, say the word! Now keep my poetry sharp, you both. A murder is on the loose, while doors keep getting locked. Tick, 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 tock goes the clock, while our heroes are in the caboose. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective abilities. We're really doing this. I'm meeting my uncle! <laughs> I'm meeting my uncle! <laughs> Sonic Nate stated calmly, yeah. Come on, Nick Jr. Let's see what's next. Coming. Alright, uh... I am feeling hungry. So I shall, uh... uh quickly grab something to eat. And I will be right back.
Ah, okay. Hello. I am back. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, I love this music, it's so calm. The wild mate is performing its signature vibe in its natural habitat. <laughs> I like that. Alright. Next up. Are you sure you don't want to stay and look at all the great books a little longer? Um, the mystery calls. Okay, the investigation continues. Ooh, okay. All this stuff's getting heady. I'll dump what I don't need. Yo! We got Blaze and we got Rouge. Let's go. We visited every train car so far, and everyone said what, that they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My, my, let's talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, darling? I'm gonna see you brought me the white wave master with you. Please don't let that be my legacy. I didn't even know you left. It was just silence while your avatar was was sway vibing slowly. Yeah, I, I said I was gonna go eat. I was gonna go get a snack. <laughs> but I'm I'm glad you enjoyed the vibes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry about the wait, but I'm glad you enjoyed the vibes. <laughs> this? Tails is right. Folks have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Uh, tell him, Rouge. We're gonna. Tell him, Rouge. We're gonna need the help. Blaze? Alright. I've been hunting for a treasure rumored to be stored here on the train. Tre treasure? They certainly didn't tell me about treasure in the interview. Since a part business tycoon, part, part pure viewer of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell him what it is, Rouge. Alright, well, it's a Fabege Chow egg. Wow, that does sound extravagant. That does sound extravagant. But please don't tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find the egg. A woman can have multiple goals. <laughs> I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. She roped me in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train cars for clues. I deducted that the Fervor's Chow Egg is here, in this train car, locked in a safe. Wait, so the treasure's real? It's actually here? The One Piece is real? <laughs> And what'd you manage to find, Rouge? <laughs> well, why don't you both take a look? I found the train's blueprints in the library car with the safe code written right on it. The score of a lifetime. The train's blueprints? Please, Rouge, let us see that. Uh-uh-uh. Finder's keeper, sweetheart. There's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? The elevator behind the security guard leads us right to the room holding the Pervez Chow Egg. But we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. We need a plan to get that card to use the elevator. And our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So, you want us to help you steal the Pervez Chow Egg? Blaze, you don't have a problem with this. I see no issues here. Sounds like a fine business venture. Yo, what's up, Gaming Steven? Ah, her lore card must be influencing her decisions here. Either that or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Hey, Junior, do you have an opinion on this? Stealing is for squares, bro. 
the sun for a five finger discount. Um, I don't know, man. I don't like stealing. I I, I feel like stealing is bad, but. I kind of want to see what this egg is all about. I'm just curious. It's just the curiousness. <laughs> bro, the curious meter is just peaking, bro. Uh, I'm going to say stealing it for squares. I think the only square is you, microwave master. I must admit, that wasn't the coolest thing I've heard someone say. No, oh, my core mysterious reputation. My reputation is crumbling. All right, all right, I'm in. I'll help. Um, bro, they didn't give me a choice. <laughs> it was just a choice for a little bit. That's not right. Well, I suppose a bully is a new junior in. Okay, let's get that for Faber's Chow Egg. <laughs> That's the ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. Now we must plan. Whoa! <laughs> oh boy. What are we guarding ourselves into? Yo! Look at that! Access to the Fabesh Chow Egg Room. Oh, the music? Hold up. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Okay. The music is kind of bopping. We're kind of bopping. Access of Faber's Chow Egg Room is behind a locked elevator door. The security card. And the security guard has the access card. Do we attack the guard, bribe the guard, or distract the guard? Um. We don't want to attack him. Definitely not attack. Bribe. Distract. Distract them. Perfect. We're all charming enough for that to work. Nate Jr. has a t got a taste for that peer pressure. No. <laughs> yeah, Nate Jr. Nate Jr. is like, yeah, peer pressure. Heck yeah. That was actually a really nice thing to say. Nate Jr., is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. Seems they don't know how to take a compliment. If I'm gonna be in a casino, my poker face needs work. Okay, who's the second the security guard? Uh. Rouge would be great. Rouge would be good at distracting, but she would be better to steal because she's she's naturally gifted at the uh, she is she she's a bounty hunter so, so so she knows this type of stuff blaze could be a distraction tails would just be too nervous to do it so um uh, maybe blaze sonic casino confirmed yeah Think you can distract the guard, Blaze? In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. D great. Her voice was so stoic. I have chills. Well, I trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? Um. Let's see. If it's a security guard. The, the claw machine wouldn't really do anything. Because of the fact that it's a, it's a, it's a claw machine is stuck. That's, that's for the, it wouldn't really be stuck because this is a high end thing. It's not gonna be stuck. Well, with a bunch of poker chips on the floor, at least we have the, at least we have the force needed in order to distract someone. So I think that's the thing. That's a child about their partner and kids. I don't know about that. <laughs> Causing a ruckus. I like it a lot. 
Now get the guard's attention for sure. Let's move forward. With the guards, with the guard distracted, Rouge. How will you get the access card? I'd say, uh, I'd say just pick their pocket. I'll snatch the access scene, no problem. That chow in uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent, we can count on you, Rouge. Try not to take anything else from them, if you can help it. No promises. With the card obtained, with the card obtained, if we need to get Blaze out of there. Nate Jr., what's your plan? Uh, pretend you're Blaze's spouse. Oh shoot! Oh heck yeah! <laughs> yes. Then you'd be marrying into a royal family. What is your heritage? Any war crimes I should know about? What? Well, uh, I um, you dress far too plain. You need a complete refashioning immediately. Uh, you know what? Maybe we should try something else. Dang it! <laughs> Dang it! Man! Interesting. You give up far too easily as well. We'd have to work on your fortitude. I said we'll try something else. But the card obtained. We need to get Blaze out of there. What's your plan? Uh, I'd say... Push the security guard over. No, no, it's not comfortable with any violence here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Just look to the ground. I wouldn't hurt them. But if they start crying, it'd be going to want to touch to it. Okay, okay, okay! <laughs> this point, this thing of some- This point, this point, this thing of something else. Why are my plans so awful now? Drink without a coaster, I guess. Uni, what are you doing meanwhile watching Nate playing? Uh, ac absolutely vile. Hey dude, sorry I couldn't live stream this day. Oh no, you're fine. You're all good. It's all good. You're, you're all good, Fuzzy. Ah, absolutely vile. I can't think of anything worse. Despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. And the guard will go running immediately. I'm sure of it. Great. And then with the guard distracted, we'll all head to the elevator. And just like that, we all make it into the elevator. Inside, we... Uh... Or, here's a better and quicker way, send me, I can delete the cards, <laughs> the cards character files and delete the rest of security. Doesn't that make this a little more easier? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <gasps> Fuzzy. Fuzzy. We should have a collab stream. We should have a collab stream. Both of us go live together. We should both go live together, man. That'd be great. That'd be awesome. Um, uh, let's do a celebratory dance, bro. Now that's a proper victory. Oh no. One last security measure we didn't account for. What do they do with the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? Have tail disable them. I should be able to disengage them. I have a feeling DDLC was watching the whole time, but was waiting for the perfect moment to talk. <laughs> maybe, maybe. DDLC's DDLC's sly like that. Ah, right. I should be able to disengage them. I'll just need some time. Well, that leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no, Tails is taking a while and the arms are tightening their grip. Uni, how did you know? Uh, pretenders, uh, pretenders nothing wrong. Tails managed to do it. Darlings, I'm happy to say this plan is perfect. Or on the weekend. Uh, I can't really do it on weekend because of the fact that... One, I'm busy during the weekends. Two, my family are... My, uh, no, two. 
the yeah, two things. It's not family wise. It's just that the I can't stream. I can't stream where I live. I, I'll have to like go somewhere else in order to stream because the Wi-Fi at my house is terrible. Now I'm scared to say the wrong thing the whole time. <laughs> That's how most of my group conversations go. I just wait for someone to say something I can branch on. Yeah. Mom, can I download Discord? I want to collab stream with Nate too. <laughs> I already did. Bro, DDLC? I'd love to collab stream with you. Honestly, I would. I definitely would. Darlings, I'm happy to say this plan is perfect. If everyone is ready, it's time to execute. I'm ready. Let's begin. All right. Let's see what. Let's see what's up the elevator. Yeah, I remember. I remember. Ah, oh, man, I want to see it. I want to see it, man. I wanted to see everyone dance. I don't know. I don't know how. Maybe during 3.45 when my school is out. No. And now I have to already have to leave. Ah. Don't worry, DDLC. We're probably, we'll probably actually uh, stay. We'll actually, uh, we actually might be staying here for a, for a good while, so you'll probably you'll definitely see us. You'll definitely see us. Maybe, I think, I hope. <laughs> anyway, bye, DLC. Have a great day. Um, I knew the plan would go up without a hitch. We couldn't have made it this far without you both. You have my gratitude. Our planning beforehand was very thorough, I must admit, and it was, it was executed to perfection. Bye bye! Enough chatter. Now we, re now we claim our real prize. I have the safe code right here on the blueprints. Let's claim our Fabes Shell Egg. <laughs> What could they possibly be storing in, be storing in all these? The, this is the casino car, so I suppose it's all extensive gems and gold. Maybe rings too? Rings? You can find those lying about in the grass. There's no interest to us. We focus on the real prize, shall we? Right. It's midnight for you. Ah. Uh. <laughs> because of my cursed sleep schedule? Bro. I, I feel bad that I feel bad that you're joining our my streams even though you're you're it's like super late super late for you I'm so I feel so bad. <laughs> right, we gotta find the safe with this Fabers Chow egg inside. Also, I sent you a video on Discord of a goose attacking the camera. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I guess I'll see that later. All right, let's see it. No question, this has got to be the safe with our treasure. Enter the code and the blueprints and find out, Rouge. Oh, on it, sweetheart. Let's see. 230401. Oh, wow. It's here. <laughs> I have it. Whoa. All right, before anyone sees us, let's get out of here. Hold on, kiddo. We can't be too hasty. You truly think there's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever? R Rouge, spit it out. What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. For real, I love these time zones. Uh -huh. Uh. No one knows the secret, either because, but because anyone who's opened one of these have never lived to tell the tale. That's why no one was hurt, but it was at our local Italian restaurant. Wow. You can open the egg? 
You sure can, and all of you will bear witness to its secret. I don't know if you should. All you need to do is twist it. Tick, 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 tick. Oh no, it's a bomb! Uh, 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 uh oh. Rouge, has no one lived to tell the sec egg secret because each egg is a bomb? <laughs> I think you're onto something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. We need to dispose of that egg now. Dispose of it after all our hard work. Rouge. Fine, fine, but what do I do? Where do I put this thing? That's an excellent question. What do we do with a bomb? Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. <laughs> uh. I would say twist it or throw it and lock it in the safe. Um. Uh. Twist the egg again. Rock the egg to sleep, bro. <laughs> I I don't think I saw that option. Great idea. Stop, stop. That's clearly not working. Let's think of something else. Uh, eat the egg? Oh my gosh. Oh, there it is. Tell the egg to stop. I saw that one. Uh, throw it and lock it in the safe. Quick, put the egg back, Rouge. Uh, okay, fine. It's going back in. Uh, Tails, the safe won't lock. The door's staying open. Why close the door and twist the dial? I obviously am. There must be some weird way to lock the door. There's no other buttons or dials. How are you supposed to? We don't have time to mess with this. Think of something else. Uh. Open it up. What do you mean by this? You know, red wire, blue wire. You gotta cut one like the movies. This isn't a movie, Nate Jr. This is real life. <laughs> He's got a good point. Uh. Take one for the team. Uh, here, give it to me. Get it as far as away from me as possible. Just remember as I, just remember me as I am, a hero. N no, Nate Jr., we won't let you do that. I mean, if that's what they want, who we are to stop the microwave kids. Obviously, not going to sacrifice himself. Their body's far too screened to contain any sort of blast. True. Let's think of something else quickly. Uh. Uh. Uh, smash the egg against the wall. All right, here goes nothing. Rouge. Okay, yeah, it's probably think of a different plan. Uh, let Rouge kiss the egg. As they say, love always prevails. Mwah. <laughs> you heard it. Mwah. I still hear the ticking. Uh, what a brood. Uh, happily set the egg on fire. Call me crazy, but perhaps fire and explosives shouldn't mix. <laughs> You don't think fire would neutralize the blast? You just like to say things, don't you, Nate Jr.? Smash it. Oh, um, maybe. Uh, flip the egg upside down. Why not? It's flipping it upside down. I don't know. Try it. Nothing. Happy? Yes. <laughs> I'm very happy. Uh, stomp on the egg. Just how I like my eggs, smushed. Yes, stomp, stomp. I'm guessing you don't like uh, this idea. Obviously not. Uh, eat the egg. Not without any salt, I won't. Really, Nate Jr.? Probably part time for jokes, huh? Uh, let's, tails, cool it down. Cool the bomb with your tail. Cool the bomb down with your tails, like a fan. Worth a try. I still hear ticking, however refreshing the breeze may be. Uh, okay, new plan. Rouge was definitely down to enlist Nate Jr. in the Super Soldier program. Yeah! 
Uh, Rock Day to sleep. Do you think this Angus is cranky and needs a nap? Is that what you're telling us? Everyone's always mad at the idea guy. Uh, toss the egg in the elevator. All right, down it goes. We're clearly not gonna blow up the elevator. Let's rethink this. Uh, chaos control the egg away. Did you hear about chaos? Why did you hear about chaos control? It doesn't matter, we need a chaos emerald to do that. Well, dang it. <laughs> Stop. That did nothing, I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> All right, let's let it finish ticking. Are you insane? Do you want us to just blow up? We need to dispose of the bomb, Nate Jr. That is our goal. Listen, listen, I get that, but what if the egg isn't a bomb? Wait, that's right. Nate Jr., I think you're onto something. Huh? What's right? Spit it out, kiddo. We don't have any time. Sorry, it's just... This video did say something interesting when you kissed him about the train's manual. Okay, somewhat efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to insist in keeping the train spotless. With robotic arms, during events they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought into a train, ensuring passenger safety. Oh! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! You're right! If a bomb was brought onto the train disguised as the barbarian's chow egg, then our arm would have had detected it and wouldn't have allowed it on. The only other person who knows this coming and going of a train is the conductor and he surely won't allow such a thing either. So if we're out of options, I think we should wait and see what happens. Uh, okay, we wait. Who's on the phone, bro? Uh, okay. The egg! It's opened! It's hollow, not a bomb at all! You really were onto something. You! Oh my my, that's one way to get my heart racing. I'm completely relieved. My hunch was right, thankfully. Yeah, look what's inside! Oh, look at it! Wow, look at it sparkle! And it's so heavy, too! The final secret to the fat bear's chow egg, and it's a chow covered in gems. It's perfect. It's exquisite. It's revolutionary. Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? No, I must admit, it is stunning. You said no one lived to tell the fat bear's chow egg secret. I wonder why the egg wasn't a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as us. I don't know. Who cares? What a precious treasure up here to behold. Hello? Hello, hello. Uh, I wanted to, uh, I want to record a message for you to uh, help you guys sit on your first night. Um, I actually worked in the office before. Bro is phone guy. <laughs> I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact, so I know it's going to be a bit overwhelming. I'm here to tell you if there's nothing to worry about. Now, the animatronic can be a get, can get a bit quirky at night. <laughs> SpongeBob, yo! What a precious treasure, a beauty to behold! Maybe they naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them. Uh, as much as fun as this has been, we need to get out of here before we're spotted. <laughs> Good call. Let's go. No one just seems to suspect anything. The security guard is back at their post. Hope they survived. Hope they subdued the drink throws they're fiend, okay? Thank you both for your assistance. The hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Stealing was 
strangely fun. The animatronics here do get a bit a bit quirky at night. <laughs> Insert pretty fast bear. I prefer never to do it again. Now Rouge. Rouge? She's completely absorbed in that bedazzled shell. What? What, uh, what is it, darling? About those blueprints, now that you're done with them, maybe we could lick it, take a look? While I appreciate your assistance, it's as I said, finders, keepers. I'll need them a little longer in case I missed any other treasures, but I promise I'll let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. You can't just add sweetheart to the end of a sentence to make things better. But I don't like there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. Well, we'll get over your, your way then. We do have a murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed through. He passed through earlier. Nice! Let me unlock the door so you can continue forward. You know, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge. But we also have much of this but we also have much just as much suspicion about Shadow. It's literally 1 a.m. for me, IRL. I'm playing FNAF, but with with a with a churn of Fumo? Oh no. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. The door's unlocked. Well, will you stay safe? Thanks again. Will do. Come on, Nate Jr. Let's head out. Gotcha. The mystery continues. The, ca the capabilities of Rude Roma arms are quite spectacular. I'm impressed every time we see them. I can't help but wonder how they're controlled. I don't know. The conductor was ordering, ordering it around a bit earlier. At the very least, things operate much smoother with them here. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, that is true. They're very versatile. Hold on. Uh... There we go. Uh, I'm trying to connect my new earbuds to my phone, but it takes forever. Ah. Uh, let's see. Oh, trash can! Tails! We must search the trash bin. Uh, it's empty. Oh? Oh? Did I hear an O? Oh? I've always believed in a thorough investigation, even, even peeking in the trash. See, it's about persistence, Tails. My dad told me when he met my mother, he would drive to her work two hours every Tuesday with a flower from his garden. She quickly agreed to a date, and when she arrived at the restaurant, she found two dozen roses waiting for her. Within a year, the two were married. It's about caring, dedication, and persistence. That's, um, very sweet, but all that's in the bin is a lollipop stick. Uh, a lollipop stick? Yeah, like the leftover stick from a lollipop. That's all that's here. Nate Jr.? Nate Jr., is everything okay? Do you need me to bring you a flower? Just... Just leave me be. <laughs> no! Nate Jr. is depressed now. <laughs> Dang it. Pulling off that heist was much more enjoyable than the rest of these casino games. Uh, can I take your order? Can I interest you in something off the menu? I'm content for now, thank you. Maybe the whole egg, maybe the egg to bomb thing destroyed my appetite. <laughs> yeah, I was nervous myself. We can tell, you sweat out of your uniform. You sweat out your uniform pretty often. Yeah, you're a very, um, animated person. Wow. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Uh, your alibi. No! Stop it! Fuzzy! Fuzzy! Fuzzy? 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 Yeah. There we go. Ah! 
Much better. Do you think you could bolt, go over your alibi again for us, Blaze? When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Sure, we left the dining car and Roche pulled me aside to talk about the Fabesh Chow egg. Uh, sorry, Fuzzy. <laughs> sorry, Fuzzy. By the way. Uh, the voice crack. Oh my gosh. Hey, oh, Fuzzy. Chill. Uh, fuzzy. I didn't know you were down bad today. Alright, I'm joking. Okay. Fuzzy car. Ooh. <laughs> what? <laughs> ah. Honestly, I'm so glad they brought Blaze. Brought Blaze back. Uh, Silver? Yeah, he's just Silver. <laughs> I miss Silver, though. Blaze, I'm so glad she's back. I love Blaze. She's so... I don't know. The idea of having a, a Sonic character be a purple... Purple cat? I love it. I love it. Purple cat. My favorite, my favorite pet. Mixed with my favorite color. Yes. Lavender. The lavender cat. Come on. Whoa. Oh. The lovely lavender lady. Oh my gosh. It's 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 Sonic, but it's DDLC. Hey, okay, remember the canon lore? No, stop. No. No. We walk and talk to the casino car. Neat lore. We walked and talked to the casino car, and then we went to our separate ways. I scooped around and discovered our egg was there. Nate is canon to my lore. Oh, that's true. Wow. After that, I played the slot machines to train to a sudden jolt, which was odd, but I didn't leave the car. I gave Amy her present when she stopped by. Shadow passed through as well, but it was a brief. He gave me the exit key and left. Interesting. Do you have any proof you were here playing with slots? I do actually. I kept winning, so I saved the cash out voucher. Let me take a look. That's here. F 14,000 credits? Eh, that's an enormous payout. How did you. I'm just naturally lucky, I suppose. That smirk. She's so self aware. Ah, thank you for your time, Blaze. Anytime, and Tails. Do tell Kramer said hi, won't you? Of course, can do. Oh, uh, yeah. Like those images I sent Nate as teasers for my F and F mod, yeah. Hey, man. Oh, yo. Hey, Nerima. Dr. Eggman built a lot of casinos to run around in, but I've never actually sat down to play any for fun. Uh, I'm ready to blackjack. I don't know how to play that. I don't know how to play either. <laughs> We must have been Sonic. Probably a good point. <laughs> hmm, should I give the slot machine a try? Uh, yeah, I'll try. I try one. Let's see, big money, big money. Uh, well, I lost. Do so I try again? No, I'll move on. I respect your restraint. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks again for your help earlier. Now, what can I do for you, darlings? Uh, your alibi? You think you can open your alibi again for us, Rouge? When Amy began the murdering mystery, what did you do? Well, once Amy paired Blaze and I up, I immediately roped her in my fabulous chow hunt. We stood up at the casino car and I went searching for the blueprints. Enough new friend helping with my FNF mod. Oh, nice! Awesome! I walked back through the library and saloon cars until I found it in the library car. Did you see Sonic at all during your search? Sonic? No, I don't believe so. I remember him at the dining car at the beginning. Do you have anything to support that claim? Listen, plenty of some people saw me poking around and I have the blueprints on me. 
I hardly had time to chase Sonic down, murder him, and find the blueprints myself. We appreciate you answering our questions, Rouge. You take care now. Likewise, darling. Ready to get going? Let's find Shadow. Let's do it! Yo, music room? Yes! Oh, man. Now is as good a time as any to clean out my pockets. I know you won't talk. Wait. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you belong in those stars. It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons. I... No reason to convince you enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? Hmm. I see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. <laughs> we'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog is delicious. <laughs> I'd like to know why you've been. Lo I'd also like to know. I'd also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. Hmm. I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. Now, if you leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Well, Engineer, it looks like Shadow isn't going to talk. Let's do some investigating. Alright, ready to find some answers, Tails? Indubitably, my dear Nate Jr. There's another robot arm just doing its thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell it to do something? Oh, no, but I'll give it a shot. Hey, robotic arm, can you... I remember my friends. This is them now. Ooh. <laughs> Nate, can you say something in that voice real quick? Uh, which voice? Which 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 voice? The the Sonic one, Tails. The tail the Tails one, the the Amy one. Which one? Hey Nate, see this. Why do you want me to say that? <laughs> oh, the Amy one. Okay, got you. What? What? What is it? Uh, hey oh, Nate. Sorry. Okay. So far over. <laughs> Excuse me. Let me have a little stretch first. Okay. Ah. Die, fuzzy. Wait. Uh, how do you want me to say it? <laughs> the the high pitch one or? <laughs> Die, fuzzy. <laughs> just, just random, random, random stuff. Um, first, can you tell me what that means, though? You can't, you can't let, you can't have me. Funny meme. Oh, I see. Okay. Mocha chef, you should yell it. Uh. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. It. It. <laughs> there you go. Scream it, bro. Bro is tough. <laughs> hey, 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 yo, hold on there. Hold on there, Fuzzy. Hold on there, Fuzzy. At least take me out to dinner first. <laughs> Calm down, Fuzzy. At least take me to dinner first, bro. Uh. 
Makacha, you should take her. Your Amita. Huh? <laughs> okay, but but tell me, what does that mean? Just tell me what it means, please, please. <laughs> I'd like to know what it means. I wanna know. Can you show me? I wanna know about the strangers like me. <laughs> Uh, um, <clears throat> I'm using this for a future video. Why? <laughs> Hold up. Do you want me to date him now or what? <laughs> <laughs> Ramaj, the full thing is. Look at you! Go easy, Takura! You're not me, 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 no, 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 a Kurina, that's the Dore Dore. Kawaii! What's your neck, Oh, huh? Huh? What? What are you trying me? What are you trying to make me voice? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What are you trying to have me voice? Clipped? No! <laughs> I. <laughs> what did that do? At least tell me what that means, though. Nani? <laughs> Nani? <laughs> At least tell me what it means. Oh my gosh. It's my ringtone now, too late. Just tell me what it means. That's all I'm asking you. <laughs> No, not the smile. Just tell me what it means. That's all I want to know. Give me a high five. It doesn't seem to be listening to you. It doesn't seem to be listening to you. But I can give you a high five. I can give you a high five. Oh, sweet. Yeah. I got the, I got the high five with, uh, with tails. Let's go. Let's go. That, that's, okay, I can die happy now. Tails gave me a high five. I can die happy now. I, I'm, I'm set for life, man. Ow. <laughs> Bro, I am set for life. Uh, let's see. Uh, what does this do? Presenting Big Chow Band. Take a beat. Until music plant zone. Oh, music plant! Yo! What's the app that Mocha Chen taught me so I can use to see the objection? Cute. Omuro cat. Meow meow. Omuro. Oh, you could. Uh, ho ho ho. I'm terrible at translation. You two down together or what? I, no! <laughs> no! Uh, I, I guess that's, that's some strange, that's some strange, uh, ah, okay. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, man. He's a tail simp confirmed. What? No. Tails is just my favorite character. I love Tails. He's awesome. <laughs> he's just a he's just a guy. He's just an awesome guy, man. Can I not have my favorite character? Come on. Okay. When I was younger, yes. I I thought Tails was a girl and I was just like, "Oh my gosh. Tails is Tails is so awesome." 
No, just wait. How will he react? I, I don't. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, let's see what's in here. Nate Jr., could you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out, or worse, someone leaps out? I just think you should do it. Yeah, all right. All right, watch a pro. <laughs> do that i'm sorry i didn't know nate is gay confirmed when he was younger no bro is is tails canonically eight okay that cough sounded too realistic bro i i told you bro i'm an actor bro yay nate is dying now okay that's it stream is over <laughs> you know what fine stream is over bro you want me to die i can't believe you i can't believe you bye everyone <laughs> no 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 uh, uh, Tails is canonically eight. Uh, well, it depends. Uh, how old? Canon age for Tails now. Oh, I put Conan. Canon. Canon age. Uh, uh, okay. Tails is... Tails is 11.13. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay. Uh, Tails, here we go. He is eight years old. Okay. That was when I was younger. Around eight years old as well. So, yeah. Uh... That's it, you're banned? <laughs> no. <laughs> Ow. Well, anyways, did you did you all know that someone really died just from laughing? Uh, yeah, I can I can see that. Okay. Hmm? Tails, do you see this? A pull string? Nate Jr. What? It's gotta activate something. What the the back of the wardrobe open. How about a coo? Huh? What? Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> fuzzy? <laughs> okay, fuzzy. Okay, you just because you weren't, you didn't finish your sentence. Okay, okay. You, you smart dies oh no <laughs> never mind he's just dead the back of the wardrobe opened there's a full passageway back here come on we have to see where this lives we have to see where this leads he's curious that must mean something big I, I, i'm curious too this is the library there's a secret passage from the lounge to the library i don't believe it Shh, quick, back to the passage before they spot us. Bro, we literally vented. It's among us. Uh, uh, we need to add that to our inventory. Hidden passage, add it to your inventory. <laughs> Tails. No. Tails, I think we should check the trash bin. Hey, Nate, can I eat them? 
Why do you want to eat a rotting corpse? <laughs> Why would you want to eat that? I mean, if you really want to, go ahead. But... The fuzzy is dead? No. <laughs> yeah, I know. But like, Gaming Steven, really? You want to? Yeah, I I'm not going to stop you from eating the corpse. I'm... Uh, up to you. If you really want to, uh... Sure. <laughs> Tails, I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has an empty, Nate Jr., and you've been disappointed every time. Uh, are you going to get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin, Nate Jr.? Uh... There's always something in the trash bin! <sighs> Alright, let's check the trash bin. Uh, what's this? <laughs> Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website. It's for the brand it's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory! Are you sure this isn't just trash? I'll let you have this. There's always success if you check the trash bin. Crumpled paper is added to your inventory. Heck yeah! Let's go! Hey, it's the big chow band! Oh, wait! Can we change the music? Oh, shoot. Hold on. Play us a ditty. They don't miss. Those chow understand music. Oh, give us a jam. Ooh, okay, okay, hold up. Dies another time. Fuzzy's corpse has been added to your inventory? Bro! <laughs> That's awful, bro. Fuzzy's friend, what? I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That was spiritual. I feel reawakened. <laughs> that was. That's awesome. Alright. Uh, let's see. Ooh, we got some more stuff. Hmm. A key ring must be shadows, the locksmith. Interesting, there's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Wanna take it? Yeah, let's take it. Key ring added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Shadow and find out what really happened. No, I want the printer, bro. This is like a printer, it's hooked up to the computer. Can we print something? Yo, Sonic singing a song, let's go. Huh, the printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Tricky? You can use it for sick pleasure or you can kill him a third time. <laughs> oh no! For sick ple- oh! The sick pleasure is torture. He dropped like five levels of experience. Yo! <laughs> yeah, the, the user interface isn't very clear, but it won't let I won't let it stop me. Yo, look at that! And here you go! Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. I'll uh, quietly set this back on the printer. Can you print something? Sonic rowing a boat. Hang on, I think I remember buttons to press. It's really that complicated? Have you ever had a printer work when you wanted it to? Fair enough. Yo! <laughs> and there! Worked like a charm! Here you go! Fuzzy experience farm? No! <laughs> yep, this is exactly what I wanted for. I love that. He's like, oh! <laughs> Gotta get out of here! I'll slightly set this back on the printer. Ooh. Wow, Tails, you have to check this out. Ah, <gasps> pretty! These windows are huge! What a view! I didn't realize this train would drive along the coast! 
kill it like 10 more times. We need to craft like four enchantments. Oh, wait, I am. Dies a fourth time. Stop dying, Fuzzy. <laughs> Spectacular, isn't it? I just want to hop out and take a dip in the ocean. If this train wasn't so nice to be on, I'd agree. Despite the murder lingering in the air, despite the murder lingering in the air, I just thought the same thing. <laughs> Alright, computer. They told us. Uh, they told us about this in my interview. The lounge has a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely! Seems convenient. It is. A shame to be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you, were, you must really need to use it. Right? Um, let's see. Let's talk to Amy. Glad you two fi- Glad you two finally caught up! I'm surprised it took you longer to get here! I wanted to save Sonic! We have a thorough. Do you have any clues for us? Just a hot tip! And we'll all be revealed in due time! Yo, I'm just giving uh, Amy the Sayori voice. <laughs> I think I'll be shredding a bit now in this whole case. <laughs> I hear sharing is caring. No way! Joyce reported Amy Wells is always first to reveal a scoop. When you made your chance, shout out talk to him. Then I'll be ready. I'm so curious what it is. She sounds confident. We'll hold you to it. We'll talk. I'm surprised you didn't know get here. Oh. Uh, could you please tell us? No way! <laughs> no way! <laughs> uh, never mind. I'm so close to getting the screen since I can feel it! Uh... Oh, <gasps> wait, wait, no way, bro, wait, I thought about it, bro, I should be the detective, bro, I found out, I found out why Shadow was in here, oh my gosh, I know why Shadow was in here, oh shoot, I know, I know what happened, why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help with either with you. There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. That stare, so cold. You know, maybe we can get out of here, actually. Nate Jr., we certainly will not. There's nothing I can help be. Okay. Start interrogation. Shut up. We have questions for you. Will you three get out? I'm busy. I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Oh man, I, I know, I know it, I know it. Shadow was in here. He was locking the doors to every, he, he was in the lounge room the whole time. He locked the doors to everywhere. He locked every other door because of the fact that he was using the computer to search up pictures of the band Hot Honey. But hear me out, hear me out, chat. You know why? He, he, you know how? You know how I know that? Because of the crumpled Hot Honey picture. If it's one of, if it's one of Amy's favorite, if it's, If it's, if, if the, if it was Amy, she would have kept the picture. But Shadow, he doesn't want anyone to find out. So, as soon as someone comes in, he crumpled up the paper and threw it in the trash can. You got, guys, guys. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train, and every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door in this train, 
and and I know why. Uh, 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 pray tell, why was I locking all the doors? <laughs> Time to reveal my hot tip. Hope everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours truly. We're ready. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car where Sonic was stationed. The door right here is a large car, the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following? So Shadow was locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. No! No, he wasn't going to kill Sonic. He's locking everyone's doors because he's a locksmith. Well, yeah, he's a, he's a locksmith. He's testing to see if the keys work. That's why he gave keys to everyone. See, so thinks Shadow was trapping Sonic. I sure do. He locked the conductor's car, then locked all the others so one locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjecture. You all get out and leave me be. Well, my source can back up these claims. They will, they will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims it will never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. Is the logic sound though? Was Shadow trapping Sonic? I'll play along and follow this train of logic, Amy. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car and prison Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. I think Nate Jr. and I, I, I can, can explain the car change, however. <laughs> Nate Jr., what evidence do we have that Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? Okay, just to get my thoughts in order. Let's do this! so close hold on I thought I had it okay I'm ready I'm ready I'm ready no I'm sorry I'm sorry I'll try again do it again Got it. Let's go. Let's go. Nate Jr. and I found a hidden passage in the wardroom that leads right to the library car. What? No. Oh, that, I thought that was Amy. What? A ticket passage? So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrived at the dining car. Excellent work, Nate Jr. Hmm, this adjusts my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car, but that thought this person being so close to the station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on the way out, and dropped the body off in the dining car. Uh, are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am, but of course, this is just a theory. Uh, This up. I ran out of my hot skip. <laughs> Steam Tales and I were more thorough than you. If Shadow's not gonna talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did Espio and Vector not see him? Well, uh, 
That's supposed to be hard to sneak around with two people. Nate Jr., do you have any guesses? Oh, well, Espeon Vector didn't see Shadow because, uh... Uh... Well, Vector was with Knuckles. That's true. Vector was with Knuckles and it wouldn't have been sent into the library car. See? Things are falling into place. What about Espion? I believe Espion was on a bookshelf at a table reading. Espion reading in the library checks out. That's what he told me too. He's lying. Well, is that Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector out with that whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Like I believe you, you can't have my number one suspect! Why are you even searching for Espio, huh? <sighs> if you must know, I needed to give him a key. Ask him! Why did Luxman give me away his keys? Shadow's been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone, everyone but us seems to have one. That's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the door next, the next door for us. I, I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys? Perhaps Neat Jr. and I can validate Shadow's claims. We could do what? Neat Jr., what evidence supports Shadow's claims that he was giving keys away? The key ring. That feels good. Now to get my thoughts in order. <laughs> I gotta get my thoughts in order. Proceeds to play a... Proceeds to play a game on his... On his, uh... Dream Gear. Ah. Uh. I'm so good at the game! Let's go! <laughs> I'm getting too excited for this. <laughs> there's only one reason there's exactly two rings on that key ring. Those were the two rings Shadow meant to give Espio and Vector. No way! Well, well what about his own key? Couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. <laughs> Interesting. Let's see Shadow telling the truth. Then what? Huh? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the tiny car, then what possible reason could he be locking all the time? No! <laughs> <laughs> She's right. Her theory is strong, Tails, and I certainly haven't pres presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? I think Nate Jr. and I know exactly why Shadow was locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me too? First, Amy, I have one question for you. Huh? Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone. Yeah, everyone's been so sweet. <laughs> Just, um, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet, but that's okay. Just being them here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. Nate Jr. Uh, yes, Tails? I have a theory. A theory? A game theory! But I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know that Shadow walked through the train car locking the exits and he gave everyone station the car, the cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. That's right, the conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Was Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? Not us, Nate Jr. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. <laughs> uh, what? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? <sighs> How dare Nate Jr. show me evidence! Huh? Huh? Dude, oh my gosh, that Amy, that Amy expression is wild! 
If Sam was trying to keep you away, prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Ah, uh, okay, okay. Tails thinks Shadow was trying to keep just keep just in your way. Why? What evidence could shows what Shadow didn't want Amy to know? This. It feels right. Just organize my thoughts. Oh heck yeah! It's time. Oh heck yeah! We're gaming. We're gaming. We're gaming. Yeah, baby! Yeah, let's go! I got him. Got him. Got him! You went rooting through the trash? Huh? What is that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's of a band's ticket website. Tails, don't. No way! I love them! Uh, Hot Honey? It's the band of current obsessment! Jerry B is ah, my current favorite! All the members have B after their name? Yes, isn't it cute? I haven't come to any of the shows yet to see them though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time and they sell out in minutes! So the question becomes, why was this paper found in the trash car sh Shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. The situation is becoming much clearer. I don't know how Tails figured things out so soon, but I see where he's heading. I knew it! I knew it! I told you! I told you! That's girl! That is how you open a door! I knew it! I knew it! I... I absolutely knew it, bro. I should become a detective for real, bro. I, I, I knew it. I knew it, bro. My, my, I'm, I'm crazy at the game. I'm just cracked, bro. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm just so good, bro. I didn't even know. I didn't know. And, and then boom, they just say it. They just say it. I'm too good. I'm too good, bro. The printout of the Hot Honey's band tickets exist because. Shadow was buying tickets for Amy. <laughs> what? what? Shadow? Is, is that true? Are you trying to get me tickets for my birthday? I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you t concert tickets for your birthday. <laughs> Shadow? I used that printer earlier and I found it difficult to manage. When logging onto the website, did you print the homepage by accident? How the... Yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. I, I can't believe this. After I accuse you of murder... You spill everything, Shadow! The cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything! Fine. The surprise is ruined anyway. You know, probably our fault here. Uh, sorry. That's all the Texas job, I suppose. Mm -hmm. When I arrived on the train and realized everyone else had a gift except for me. Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remember Amy had seen Hot Honey live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the home page. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you keep speaking of? The time you're able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. Oh my god, Gaming Steven! I haven't even noticed! My gosh, bro is... Bro is... Speeching over here. <laughs> Steven, you gotta calm down. My gosh. 
I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they can get in, get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here, somehow. And that was the script of... <laughs> the, the Heavy is Dead. Oh my gosh. I had a feeling he was scripting, but like I didn't want to... Yeah. It's because the conductor gave me this. It's because the conductor gave me this. This key opens up any door to the train. I've gone through every locked door with these. The plan's fatal flaw, the birthday key. I should have guessed it's a well-known privilege. Shadow, I, your gesture is so sweet. And Arthur accused you too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later. And to make it up to you, you can come with me. I, uh, I don't know if... Too late! It's happening! Hey, I can't wait! The show a lifetime! Uh, fine. Happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two. Uh, seems the mystery of Shadow's locked doors has finally reached the end. I blame my source for all this! This is not a hot tip at all! You need me to believe Shadow was more than everything! My credibility, my credibility as a church reporter down the drain! Amy, I am curious. Who was the source for your, uh, big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know who is your source is. Huh? But we need to investigate one last area, the conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. Can I live stream tomorrow? Uh, yeah, you can. You can definitely live stream tomorrow if you like. Uh, but I, I will be live streaming too. <laughs> I, I will end up be. I will end up be. I will end up live streaming again. But maybe I'll. Maybe I'll join you in the live stream. So there we go. And I'll join as well. Time to see this through the end. We're more than happy to have you both. Hey, Junior. I hate to say it. I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. No! The pieces are coming together, and the full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this, Tails. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Right on then! Right on then! Let's do it! Ready to go to the conductor's car? Let's finish this. It's now or never! A full week of Snape stream? Uh, I'm not streaming on Friday. I can't stream on Fridays, unfortunately. I wish I could, but I can't stream on Fridays. Ugh, I wish I could. Whoa, the conductor car. Should really sort out my evidence before I continue. My short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet feels empty I just recorded your voice during this stream <laughs> wow it's Thursday for me yeah it's and I will animate it oh ah! that's awesome thank you wow that, that's awesome I, 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 I want to see a, I want I do I would love to see an animated uh, Thunder Nate Thunder Nate segment that's awesome Thunder Nate anim- Thun Yo! Thunder Nate Animations! That was my previous channel name! Well, that was my channel name uh, before Thunder Nate Variations. Uh, it's Thursday for me, now I'll animate. It's Wednesday for me. It's Wednesday for me, uh, it's 11.55. So... Feels empty? Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd, I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. The last we saw him was when he left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. Bro, look at him. Look at him, bro. He is... It's 1.55 in the morning? Oh my gosh. 
Trash can. Trash can. Trash can. You know what? I'm alright. I don't need to check the trash can. You're satisfied with finding a clue here before, huh? I know they say always check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on a high note. <laughs> wow, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. He's been here a long time. After 32 years, he's told me he's finally retiring. He said he's headed to Spagonia with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. 32 years is a long time. I wish them a lot of happiness. May, a may any future sorrow be fleeting. Uh, yes, I wish that too. <laughs> The PA system. A microphone! We could talk to the whole train with this! Mm, should I say something? <laughs> Start beatboxing? Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> if you can hear this, your armpits stink. Bro, that's so mean. I'm gonna start beatboxing, bro. Alright. Nate Jr., why are we reaching for the mic? Oh! Okay, he's spitting. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Yo. Ugh! Man, that hurt. And the animation will not be much, but it'll be silly. I don't mind. As Hey, animatic animation? Bro, I... Dude, it's just so nice to have someone do that. That's so it's so awesome. Thank you so much, Fuzzy. Uh, just uh, offering our guests some musical entertainment. That was impressive, Nate Jr. Thank you for sharing. Yo! I got I got approval from Tails. You know what? I'm happy. I'm happy. Contentment meter is like whoosh. I want to do it again. A megaphone! Yeah! Nate Jr., why are you for the... Yo. <laughs> it was just a, it was just a simple. Your design will be different because I can't draw your persona. No, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Just as long as I, ha just as long as it's recognizable. I, I, I have a lot of people ask me that. It's like, do I have to draw your like persona exactly how it is? It's like no, as long as it's recognizable that it is me. But yeah. Uh, TV, TV. I know these streets throughout the entire train. Yeah, they're yeah, they're used to show information and advertisements. They're nice, the picture is really clear. I could watch a full movie on the on one. I saw a slide that said happy birthday, Amy! That was so cute! But you'll know it's you. Awesome. The next ad being for nasal medica <laughs> for nasal medication was a little jarring though. The high quality screens probably didn't do that ad any favors. Not at all. Perhaps too much detail. Uh, well, I'm leaving for now. All right, bye, Fuzzy. Nate fangirling noises. Boy, uh, <laughs> fanboying noises. <laughs> fanboying noises. <laughs> but may may maybe with with the. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, this robot arm has been completely torn off. Yuck, how creepy. That arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break out of its grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off, but the question is why? A confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Aye, aye, sir. Broken robot arm is added to your inventory. Awesome. Did this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure! Wait, what's the sound of the mug? A cup of joy in your hand, wife by your side, paradise. It is he, not she. He is he him. 
<laughs> I am a guy. I am I am 100% man. And this man will pass something to say to you. <gasps> There, I think I've made my point. <laughs> Instant Nate response, boy, <laughs> yeah. With a Y, man, with a Y, uni, with a Y, not a I, a Y. <laughs> In my neck. <laughs> all right, all right. He get it. He loves his wife. No, you are some percent girl. Uh, I guess maybe. I mean, with the with my reactions, I guess. Uh, shut up. <laughs> you get it. He loves his wife. Ooh. I didn't realize his robot arms could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function on a train like the conductor can. Did they teach you how to drive it? Oh, no. I just know how to work the microwave. If I recognize some of these functions, maybe I could drive the train. I completely trust you to drive the train. Some, actually. It's true. You could drive this train flawlessly. <laughs> oh, guys. Whoa, event. Event. Among Us! <laughs> ah! mm, it's a large one! Language barrier bullying? Oh my gosh. The nipples are an example. Oh. Oh! Okay, that's what you meant. Seems like at least one person can fit through. Wait! Among Us! <laughs> not a problem for me, but I'm, sure, but I'm not sure how you'd get up there. Wait, why would it be a problem for you? Hmm. Oh, the, the the tails, right? Hey, Junior! Ugh. Oh. oh, I didn't even notice. Hmm, what's this? What's this? Was someone playing darts? That's not a throwing dart. That's a blow dart. Someone brought a we brought a weapon onto this train. That shouldn't be possible. Tails is right. The, the train detects any weapons on a passenger before letting them aboard. Let's make a note of this. Blow dart added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's talk to Amy and solve this once and for all. Why did you have enough evidence for me to call everyone here? It's hard to tell me name the suspect. What do you think, Nate Jr.? Ready to solve this case? No. No, not, not yet. Isn't that odd? We haven't seen the conductor since the dining car. I figured he had to drive the train the entire time. I'd guess the same, but the train's quick speed up is odd, and we currently don't know where he is. I hope he's alright. Admittedly, I do miss his laugh. Uh. <laughs> alright. Why well, it's time to get the suspect. Uh, yep, let's do it. Hello everyone, this is the Becky Cat speaking. Please report to the conductor car at once! <laughs> oh, watch. It's the conductor. The conductor is the murderer. Bro. <sighs> what a fun to have you all here. Tell us that I am ready to announce a proud suspect. With the assistance from Nate Jr. Why hasn't Sonic shown up? Victor! Uh, uh, mm. Real quick, you come with me against Sonic? You must still be pretending to be dead, lazy bum! Ready! Let's go get him! Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? The air in here is so intense, I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities I feel so catered to. And admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of a chase. I see why you're a detective outside of this mystery, SBL. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. 
but on this train, I am but a humble poet. I had been willing to do an event like this again. It seems the train here has a the train does escape rooms as well. I love escape rooms. Come in. I'm so glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we should ride a train just to relax some time. <laughs> yeah, that'll be fun too. <laughs> Earthquake moment. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, mm. What in the world? Th that that's Amy's voice. <clears throat> Quick. Quick, where's Amy? <gasps> Did, was that a gunshot? No way Sonic's actually dead. Wait, no way his... No way, bro. He's actually dead? No. He... He... He's not a to us! Sonic! Sonic! What? What? Is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic, Sonic, can you hear us? The arguably best thing about living here. <laughs> He's banged up. If there's a pulse, if there is a pulse, it's weak. Set him down, Vector. Uh, be sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. Uh, I knew one of you would take this too far. Uh, which one of you did this to Sonic? On my birthday, no less! Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles! So I'll ask again. Oh my gosh! Dude, that expression is crazy! Which one of you did this? Uh, uh. This is inexcusable! Sonic's hurt! I'm going to expose the monster who did this! Tails is not having it. I, I thought Sonic could handle anything. But... Yeah, Amy is wearing a cake. Somehow he met his match. I'm going to help you to get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Me too. Same. We're going to figure out exactly what happened in this room. And punish the one responsible. Sonic, he really was hurt this whole time. I did nothing. I'm righting my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails, Nate Jr., I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? I... I don't know. I, I don't... Uh, it was me. I did it. No, I c Oh, wait! I don't know! Dude, you can't just do this! I don't know! Hold on, let me save. I'm saving, I'm saving. Oh my gosh. Abarika says through. I humored the idea of an axe causing this, but weapons aren't allowed on the train. Uh, totally pick Amy? Dude, oh my gosh. Should I? Chat, sh who should I pick? Okay, you know what? I'm setting up a, I'm setting up a, a poll. Who? Who done it? Nuts. Uh, Vector. Oh, I can't, I can't add it. No, uh, you know what, fine. I'm just doing that. 
Uh, know that crocodile, I don't know what his name was. Espio must most sus right now with what we have. Yeah. Honestly, with the items that we do have, yeah. Hold up, know that guy with the horn. Yeah, Espio? Uh. Okay, hold on. Knuckles and Vector are strong enough to like tear up the Vector and Okay, Vector and Knuckles are strong enough to both tear apart the 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 robot arm. But the blow dart Espio is a ninja. He could do that. Rouge would be able to do that too because of the fact that she's a bounty hunter. Uh, okay, with Blaze, I don't know. Maybe it's Blaze because he does, she hasn't been in games for so long. Uh, Shadow, well, Shadow's a rival. I, I don't know why he would kill Sonic though. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think he has enough reason to. Tails? We've been with Tails the whole entire time. Uh, Amy? Maybe it's Amy. Wait, maybe it's Amy. No. No, that can't be right. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Wouldn't the ninja be the only one who could do this without any sign of things? Well, yeah, but like, uh, but like Espio was, oh my gosh. I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh my gosh. This is tough. Wait, wait, wait. I can't. I'm gonna end the poll and then do Q and A. Who? Yeah, who? Who done it? That's it. Start Q and A. There we go. Select a question. All right, all right. Who done it? Who done it? Sneak up on the fast hedgehog. Ooh, ninja are supposed to be survival artists. But like, who done it? Okay, Espio. Okay, that's one for Espio. That's already one for Espio. Uh, I didn't think, okay, so. Dude, I didn't think I, it was gonna, I didn't think it was gonna be this, this, uh, this huge. Oh my gosh. How could Sonic dodge something he saw coming? Well, maybe he didn't see it coming. Maybe he just didn't see it coming. Who knows? I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know, man. This... This is difficult. <sighs> oh my gosh. Uh Hey dude, what stream should I animate? I, I don't know. <laughs> 
this board. Uh, I I don't know. Uh, up up to you, Fuzzy. Also, hi. Uh, okay. I'm gonna end Q and A. Okay. Sonic Nate eating his uncle def definitely foreshadowed. Oh my gosh. Or fours. I, I don't know what that means, but all right. Um. Well, it could not be Tails at all. It can't be Tails at all because we were with him the entire time. Uh, I guess. Um, Espio. Espio, you were the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? I did no such thing, my young friend. But if it's a battle of wits you wish, I'd love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What the? You're accusing, you're accusing Espio? We already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. Restating Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was locked in the library car reading. He only had access to the saloon car during the murder. However, new evidence has come to the light that needs to be addressed. New evidence? Well, that's right! Nate Jr., can you fill everyone in? What did we find that brings to the question Espio's alibi? Espio could have left the library at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library car to the lounge car. In the lounge, the hidden passage exits behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but that would put him in the car just before this one. You can't. You have no evidence. I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions without flaw. I was reading the entire time. Remember? It's true. You didn't miss a question. But I think Nate Jr. and I can explain that too. Nate Jr. How did Nespio know everything in a train manual he was reading? Uh, a ninja like him speed reads. Espio's a ninja! He's fluent in 17 different languages and remarkably disciplined. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it. Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. What? That's absurd! Memorizing a whole book? I know this is a talented punch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know. It's, it's plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. I've known Espio a long time. He's the one sped read a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. <laughs> if I'm right and Espio quickly memorized the book before entering the hidden passage, then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car where he was murdered. Since we're only taking in what ifs, let me throw something at you. How was I know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. Th that's right! How could Espio have known it was there? You said it yourself, kid. You were lucky to even find the passage? Nate Jr. and I may not have an evidence to answer your question, but we know someone who does, right, Nate Jr.? Who here has the evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? What? That's definitely a mood. <laughs> Dude, another? Oh, Shadow! That wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Maybe you could give me a hint? They told us we could see something later, and now's the time to take a look. Who told us that? Wait, really? Speed running a book to spoil it? Bro, it is. It is a mood. Okay, uh. Amy? That wasn't exactly what I had in mind. You can see something later. Now's the time. Uh, Rouge. Rouge, we need to see those blueprints. Oh, it's Rouge! Wait, that's right! Oh, shoot! Oh my gosh! 
Oh, it's rude. That's right. I'm doing the Gartic phone stream. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Dude, I'm so close. We'll do that after. We'll do that afterwards. Uh, I'm, I I want to join you afterwards. Uh, whatever. I already use it to scout for more treasures. Come up, cold. You can have it. Blueprints are added to your inventory. This right here is a blueprint to the entire train. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge had them. Well, Nate Jr., do you have an answer for him? How could Espio have seen those blueprints? Wait. Oh! Espio for the conductor! There's a code included with those blueprints I thought was odd. The code was, was classified information. Could those blueprints have belonged to the conductor? That makes a lot of sense, actually. I remember the conductor pulling blueprints, blueprints out to show me during my interview. Espio could have swiped them blueprints, found out about the passage, and then stuffed them somewhere. Come to think of it, I did discover the blueprints in the library car. No way! In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints and then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. Within Amy's guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. The logistics still are still vague, but Nate Jr. I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm unsure how much harm Espio caused Sonic, but Nate Jr. and I have evidence on how it was done. <clears throat> oh, this is rich. Pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? The below dart! Okay, now to form my argument. Come on, focus. You're close, Nate Jr. What would Sonic do? He would play the Dream Gear! Yes! Let's go! It's okay, let me try again. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes, let's go, okay. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Oh, chat. Chat. Ooh. Dude. I am. Ooh. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so. Dude. This. Oh my gosh. Who is it? <laughs> bro. I'm so nervous, bro. The blow dart was found here in the conductor room. <clears throat> I believe Espio used this to knock Sonic unconscious. Ah, uh, so you mean Sonic might just be knocked out? I'm unsure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then how many? So then why are there so many holes in it? You deny the... You deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Ah, shoot. That's a good point, but Tails was onto something. I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors, and Espio didn't have a key. He would have to take the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up in the back of the library. Hey, Jordan, I know another way it could have been done. We do? What piece of evidence do we need to take a closer look at? Uh. Blueprints? Wait. Wait a minute. 
Hold on. <laughs> this one? Undo this right direction. What if it shows another route? Okay. Another route is the blueprint. Alright, well now what's my argument? We're getting closer. Think nature to think. Think! Tomorrow's a stream. Come on! Ooh. Ooh. Ah, what? I jumped. Big oof. He said big oof. He has some strange thoughts, honey. <laughs> Fuzzy. Bam. Yeah, baby! Alright. Okay. Come on. Alright. Let's take a look. If Espio didn't take the secret passage to get to the dining car, then what route do you take to get Sonic there? Uh, there's, there's a path above the conductor car, and it goes all the way to the dining car. Uh, huh? I didn't even see that area. Is that some sort of long attic? According to these blueprints, there are a hidden path in the ceiling that straight leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it through the vent over there? <laughs> the vent! Of course! That must be the entrance to the path! Allow me to check it out. Hmm. My word! There's a path back here! And a track! The, the track! Huh? <laughs> A track for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path the arms take to move throughout the train. So you're saying I somehow fit with Sonic in that vent and took him to the dining car? Uh, Tails, you're a smart kid, so I hope you realize we, could, we both couldn't fit up there. F fit up there. That feels right. There's this feeling fi filmsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. How on earth could, would I get Sonic? How on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? Whew! Now I think about my argument. You can do this, Nate Junior. You can do this. Oh man, dude, dude, dude! I'm actually getting so hyped here. again Rings. Okay, okay, come on. Try this again. Okay. Lock in, lock in. Oh, baby! Let's go! Okay. I locked in, I locked in. 
As soon as you said it, I was like, oh, I'm ready, I'm ready. Everyone saw the broken robot arm on the ground, right? Clearly, a fight broke out here, and one of these robot arms was a casualty. But what if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Knuckles said there's a track the robot arms that used throughout the vent. A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic, passed out from a blow dart, and carried him to the dining car. C could that be true? Take a look at Sonic. He's clearly banged up. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? <gasps> I, I can see that. Those, wrong, those arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easy. Sonic doesn't fall easily. But if he's woozy from a blow dart, his arms, those the arms could have gotten him. Interesting theory tales, but do you have to admit these are a lot of coincidences? I might not be able to think link everything directly to Espiel yet, but I have found one inconsistency. <laughs> what kind of inconsistency? Someone here is Someone here received false information, and I believe that information came from SPL. Who received that information? Amy! Amy, you received a hot scoop. Amy. Uh, Amy, you received a hot scoop, did you not? I think it's time you told us where that scoop came from. <laughs> Tails, you're... you're... Tails, you're... you're right! Espio lied to me. It's just only Shadow was locking doors to trap Sonic. But we found out that Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. That scoop came from you, Espio. <laughs> no, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. Mm. Misheard you? Yes, I said Sonic's going to get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passengers safe. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, Espio. What? The events may not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. You want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time? No, you were stationed in a room with a hidden passage? <sighs> and now you're lying to me? What a birthday? The death? <laughs> I believe the murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car and lied to Amy causing further blame on Shadow for no other for no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. When examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone that it only could have been one person. It was you, Espio! You were the one who you were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Yo, it's him! It's Sonic! Uh, hey, hey guys. Sonic, you okay? Sonic, just as we solved the mystery. Espia was the murderer! Right. Oh, backstory time! Let's go! Espio jumped me at the con conductor car. Dang it, you got me. A blow dart, though? Really? It's non lethal poison. You'll just be sleepy for a little while. Great. I could use a nap. <laughs> Sonic's alive? <laughs> Dang it! It was so close to having him dead! I wanted Sonic dead! <laughs> Why is Sonic still alive? It's not- it's not fair! Espio used non-lethal poison and I haven't even gotten one customer! <laughs> no, wait. There's something important. Espio left me there. Something, imp something important? I need everyone to listen. The train's a badnik. 
Sonic. Or, uh, Sonic. <laughs> Sonic. Uh, are you feeling all right? Did our line back down? N no. We need to g get. We all need to get off this train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me all about the features of the train. But what he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The, the conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized the train's powered by a flicky. <gasps> wait! 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 The alibis? The alibis were sent by Eggman! Eggman sent them. That's why no one knew whose alibi, who everyone was. Eggman sent the letters. Oh, it all makes sense. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm going nuts. I know who it is. Eggman did it. <laughs> that egghead. I'll, I'll murder him. I'll show him what for. A flicky? Is a tiny animal? There's only one person twisted enough to use a flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman. And a flicky turned badnik. A, a, a flicky turned evil is Tails' backstory. It all, it all connects. Oh my gosh. Holy smokes. Good gravy, Batman. Come on. That told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it's more than a simple badnik. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. You're not, you're not serious. They uh, certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. Right, as we saw the flicky, I felt a sting in my, sho in my shoulder. It was the blow dart from Espio. <laughs> Espio left. The lights in the room started to glow red. Uh, hey, stop! What are you doing? I knew something was wrong and stood up. The arms came for me next. I spin dashed right through the robot arm, sliced off the rail it was on. Wow, I'm amazed he was able to do any of this poisoned. But another robot arm managed to grab me and pinned me to the floor. The conductor's dead. The conductor's dead. Yes! Let's go! The conductor's dead. Let's go! I knew it! Yes! 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 That's what... Woo! That's what we're waiting for! That's what we wanted! Woo! Yeah, baby! The conductor screamed... The conductor screamed as the arms approached him. But I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Oh, I do. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, at least someone is dead. I liked his voice. Yeah, bro, I liked him. He was awesome. But he's dead. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> W chat for getting it right first try. Yo, W chat, SBO. I we knew it. All of us knew it. All of us knew it. All of us knew it. Yeah, we, we all knew it. Because blow dart, that was instantly SBO. That was instantly an SBO. We knew it. We knew it. Good job, chat. Good job, chat. Honestly, um, honestly, congrats to chat. Good job, chat. You guys did great. SBO, I Everyone, I have something to admit. I, I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, we already knew that. Uh, the situation has gotten so serious. Why not? Why would you not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. 
you shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game! No one should get hit with a blow dart! I was just following the rules. See? Use this blow dart on Sonic, stationed in the conductor car. This laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express. Step. What is that? It, it says, use this blow dart on Sonic, stationed in the conductor car. It is laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express. Step. What is this, instructions? I was, gi I was given the blue door along with that card. It's signed staff. It's signed staff. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it, one of the robotic arms handed it to me. <clears throat> Weapons shouldn't be allowed on the train. What is the larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Dr. Robotnik. It's Dr. Eggman. Who or what? Nate Jr., who do you think attacked Sonic and handed Espio the blow dart? Well, it can't be the conductor because this, the conductor, bro, wait, <gasps> ooh, no, it's the train itself, the train itself handed, the train itself, I believe something is orchestrating behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture for a good while, so I think the train itself is plotting something. It's Dr. Eggman. He is conducting everything. Because if the dude, if the if if the thing, dude, that's absurd, bro. I'm cur I'm currently animating the video. You okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> If the train itself is playing something, the train itself is a bad nick. And if the train itself is a bad nick, that means the one orchestrating itself is Dr. Eggman. Come on! First, we learn the train's a bad nick. It's the part where you punch the table saying you want him dead with you punching me instead. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. But no! <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm I'm going to I'm going to comment that on your video. On the video. First we learned the trains at Badnik. Now it's out to get us. Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced that the train has it out to get us? I don't know what the train's full intent is, but clearly it's been tampering in our murder mystery game. Train. Train. <laughs> And shut yourself! Amy! It's my birthday! I don't want you messing with him! Amy's hitting the Amy's hitting the wall with the hammer! I want him dead while you're punching me to death, man. I'm with you, Amy! The train can have it! Now they're both fighting it! <laughs> Stupid train! Stupid birthday! <laughs> Amy, are you okay? Man! What was... <laughs> Amy, oh my gosh! Are you okay? <laughs> Start spinning around with her hammer. Whoa! <laughs> Come on, there's got to be another way to get the train's attention. Oh my gosh. Uh, what was that? Uh-oh. Rut row. What did you two do? The conductor! No, wait. That's why the conductor is... <gasps> no! Dude, the conductor is Dr. Eggman. That's why we never see his face. That's why we never see his face. And you've seen my character introductions. It's going to be in that style. All right, all right. Here, I can get him down. Down. Don't touch him. Is that the 
just a treat, Sucky? Of course I get thought. You fooled for too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. No, he's not dead! <laughs> Man, when is someone going to die? I want someone to die. Please, just someone die. It's called the minute murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Someone just please die. Uh, game, in game. In game, YouTube. It's it, in game, in game. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm taking you all up there to Eggman's base. I knew it! It is Eggman's base! Where you will rot. Eggman? After I deliver your annoying party right with a fortress. Annoying? The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games. Ride the open rails like we've always planned. Where do you... Enough. The train's picking up Steve. Still struggle, Nate. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm struggling here. I am struggling here. <laughs> this train's picking up speed. Everyone grab something. Everyone grab something. Uh, which one of these buttons turns the train off? Whoa. Sonic! Uh, uh, ah, <coughs> uh, that hurt. Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. <coughs> Whoa! No, no! I can't keep my footing! Ah! Oh! We're dead! Yes, let's go! Yes! We're, we're... We are finally dead. We're all dead. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> Nate Jr., come on. <laughs> I'm waiting for my son to die. Man. Ugh. A whole... A bunch of evidence has fallen out of my pockets. Ugh. Ah. My head. Tails? Amy. Ugh. Is anyone here? Hello? Hello? No need to yell, bud. S -S Sonic, I I'm so sorry. Uh, are you okay? Hanging in there. It seems the train's arms threw us back into the dining car. But where's everyone else? A great question. But for now, are you alright? Sonic the Hedgehog? Asking about me? Uh, I'm doing amazing! Wow, amazing, huh? You might have to share a bit of that enthusiasm with me. Uh, I might have overcompensated there. Let's get our bearings and take a look around. Good idea. Lead the way. Okay. Uh, not a lot of stuff. That yellow glow is chilling. I miss it when it was sh showing us the weather. Uh, uh. Well, that's better than a yellow glow, I guess. Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Why is no one responding to me? I missed the yellow glow already. You got some nerve showing up here, egghead. <laughs> you spiky blue pest. Seem to finally take passage on one of my passenger trains. You created this train? Who the hell are you? Don't talk to me! <laughs> Bro! <laughs> I just asked a question and Eggman's just smacking me, bro. <laughs> Ignoring that. And they certainly didn't talk about you in my interview. My involvement isn't well known, civilian. The infrastructure in your towns just wasn't cutting it. If I were to build Eggman land, these problems would need sorting out. So I courageously got involved. I caught and converted some cargo trains into passenger trains for the sake of the public. It's just more useful for future schemes. Let me guess, another day egg, Dr. Predictable? The people fear giant spheres! It's science! Let's cut to the chase. We're our friends. 
Judging by my security cameras, your pathetic friends are all locked up in the cars they were stationed in. Seems you managed to make the train quite upset. D did you not know this was going to happen? Heavens no! I'm only getting caught up. I'm far too busy to notice what a passenger train is up to. You see, the capability of a bandit is normally very basic. Just kill Sonic the Hedgehog. But for a luxury train, I wanted to make sure things ran without my supervision and report to me if any of you happened aboard. This train's cap cap capability of intellectual thought is extraordinary, a feat only accomplished by my genius. So this confirms it. The train really is sentient. Suffice, suffice to say, your capture is inevitable. You're on a train that desires nothing more than to deliver you all to me. <laughs> See, I got to thinking. I needed to manufacture motivation beyond programming. I like to make my badniks compete against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. So I instituted a bounty upon my arrival of bad upon my army of badniks. First to capture your pathetic creatures gets a generous reward. Ugh. The train wants us to deliver it to Eggman for a reward. Most of my robots ask for something simple, like my autograph or whatever, but a highly intelligent train. It may ask for something more, hmm, interesting. As much as I like reward programs, are you done blabbering, Doc? You can never just win silently, can you? When you're dragged into my face, you'll regret the day you ever crossed me, hedgehog. You already do. Get lost. <laughs> Ciao. He always knows how to get under my skin. This is tough. The train has the motivation, and being made by my, and being made by Eggman, it's no doubt powerful. Not to mention, we're all separated. Uh, what am I supposed to think? The trains purposely had Sonic knocked out so it could deliver us to Eggman. The whole time we were all in danger, and I went along with it. Uh, Sonic was really hurt. The conductor's been captured. Should I have been more assertive earlier? Uh, I should have done more. Am I at fault here? I knew Sonic was hurt all along. Hey. I can tell the situation's getting I can tell the situation's getting to you. Oh, yeah, sorry, I I get it. The road's been getting tough. It's easy to question the decisions that got you here. But when negative thoughts hit you, let it pass and keep living. I need you here helping me think through this before I do something rash. Oh the music! Yeah! Alright, alright! Yeah! Yes! See? See? I'm one of those leap before you think kind of guys. <laughs> okay, you're right. Let's keep moving forward and make things right. Breathe. <sighs> okay. We gotta get to this conductor's car before the train arrives to Eggman's base. The doors have been heavily fortified, but how do we get through? Hmm. Believe in yourself would work, but what would you do? Believe in yourself. No matter the obstacle, I know you have what it takes to figure it out. The entire day, Tails and I have been asking ourselves the same. Well, asking ourselves, what would Sonic do? So, what would you do? What would I do? Well, I'd speed through head on, and then rescue our friends, be by any means necessary. Here, stand back. Yeah. Woo! Wow. With one big wind-up, Sonic Spin Dash was fast enough to get the door open. <laughs> now that the road's clear, nothing can stop us. Better hold on to your pants. I don't think we'll be getting another break after this. Ready to go? 
Let's do it to it. That's the spirit. Let's go find her friends. To the conductor car to end this mystery. Yes. Dude, this is awesome. Wait. Oh, this is cool. We're actually Conductor Sonic now. Or right, we're, we're actually the outfit in Sonic. Oh, this is awesome. All right. Our friends are locked up in the cars up ahead. It's my last adventure. Maxing out my ring count gives me an extra boost of speed. If I can grab enough rings, it should be fast enough to bust through the next door, too. Ready? Let's do this. Oh my gosh, dude, this is awesome! Ah, dang it. Not enough rings! Ah, no! Whoa! Alright, let's try this again. Nice. Ow. Ah, not enough rings again. All right, hold on. Here we go. This is where I belong. Ah. Hold on. Let me. Let me. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. All right. All right. All right. This time I got it. I got it. I got it. Here we go. Ah! No! Dang it! All right! No! All right! All right! All right! <laughs> all right! Let me let me try again. All right! Nice! No! All right! Here we go! Here we go! Well, I'm ready this time. Come here, Rig Man! I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna get you! No! Alright, alright. Hold on. Ow! Oh, what the heck, man? Uh, I gotta try again. Alright, alright. Come on. Just wait until I see Eggman, or I'm gonna clobber him! We gotta deal with the train first. Come on, let's go! Hmm. Whoa! Yes! Ah, not enough rings. Nate's IP? Nah. Oh. Here I go. All right, here we go. wants us to take prisoner the train wants us to take us prisoner and earn a reward my reward is to, uh, to get off this stupid train let's go
Nice. Oh, I was I had just enough. Oh my gosh. Sonic! It's about time. I thought you were supposed to be fast, Sonic. We gotta move. You two ready? Always. Let's look here. Woo! Gotta move. Whoa. Gotta watch out. Woo! Nice! But more island is flat. More inland is flat. Uh. They locked Amy and Tails in the, t in the conductor's car. Say no more. Let's go. Here we go! Woo! Huh. Yes! Ow! Woo! Yep. Sonic! Sonic, you're here! Say, you're here! <laughs> this is no way to treat the birthday girl. You're right! I'm ready to stop this chair! It's time to finish this! Oh man, this is awesome! I'm having a I'm having a blast, chat. I'm having a blast. <laughs> Excellent work trapping these pests. Now hurry to me. I must properly dispose of them to begin my plans for egg madland and probably another dick egg. Uh don't turn us into robots or tell teleport us to the future. <laughs> Don't teleport us to the future. <laughs> teleport you all? Ooh, to the future, where I've already ruled the planet. Sure, I'll do that, whatever. Shut it, Eggman! Don't disappoint me, Train. Hurry it up. I will not fail. My wish will be granted. Your wish? Oh, you mean the bounty. I don't care what you call it. Just bring me those overgrown mammals. Sir, uh, that egg man. Uh, I must get my wish. Oh. I will not fail. This is it, everyone. This is it, everyone. Get ready. Uh, we're taking this thing down. Whoa, okay. Oh, I'm locking in. I'm locking in, chat. Here we go. This is where I belong. Ow. All right. Nate Stephen Hawking voice? Yeah, <laughs> that's actually what it is. None of you could possibly understand. We promised to be together our whole lives. How could he just leave like it was nothing? Who do you mean? The conductor? He's retiring! You just have to accept that! My wish will keep us together forever. That's what being friends is all about. You can't just force someone to be friends with you! That's messed up! Shut up! Just shut up! Alright, this time... Yes! <laughs> Woo! Nice! Hey, man. Hey, man. Can you hear me? My wig. My wig. My wig! Make the conductor never leave me. Make us be friends forever. The kind of friend who would never leave each other. Why would he be driving? Ah! 
Ow. Ah, I was so close. No. Don't tell me I have to do that all over again. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> Nice! Conductor! You promised, Pete. You promised! Let him speak! Unhand him! Try to stop this! When I told you we'd be, we'd be with each other forever, I was a bitch like a man! I'm getting old! I'm tired! Excuse me! How dare you abandon me? I'll be lonely. So lonely. Why am I doing such loading and surviving? Stop! What are you doing to me? Please don't make me do this. We have to rescue the conductor if we ever want this to if we ever want to stop the train. No, oh, no! Whoa! <laughs> I didn't expect to. Oh no! Try again. Here we go. Detective work to join Dr. Eggman. So, this really is a bad thing. This the stakes rise every second, huh? We gotta save him. On it. Let's show our full power. But it's only me. Ow! You guys do something! Try again. Dude, I'm having so much fun, chat. <laughs> oh, chat. <laughs> ah. It's fine. I need, to, I need to try again anyway. Alright, here we go. Yes! Nice! 
just just delivered the Eggman already. What a, what about what about my happiness? Your happiness comes at the expense of others. Last I checked, that's called being selfish. Me, selfish. Ow, ow, die, ow. One hundred rings. Here we go. Nice! First try! Every boss comes at threes! No! 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 I'll grab the flicky. Demonic screech. Well, yeah. Woo! <laughs> oh, <laughs> gotcha. The train is slowing down. Great hit, Amy. <laughs> it was pretty great, wasn't it? That's what you get when you're missing my special day. my friend. I might be leaving the rails, but I assure you. But I assure you, I'll never forget our time together. Ah, oh, dude is so sweet. Dude is so nice. Yeah! Oh, but the train looks awful. <laughs> I've never been on a train like that before. This universe has a unique way of doing things. Watch your step, watch your step. It's over. The mystery of Sonic the Hedgehog's murder is officially over. Maybe next birthday we'll ask Vanilla to make dinner. Oh, you don't like, you don't love parties where the end someone tries to kill you? I think I'm actually gonna miss this group's unhinged way of thinking. <laughs> You've honestly never believed what happened. Try won't even try. <laughs> I'm just glad you're here. Quick, we leave for Spagonia in the morning, and you need to pack. I'll pack faster than the wind. I need to focus on something terrible, something awful, something, something absolutely horrendous. And I need you home. Happy first day of retirement, dear. Seems the conductor's more happy to get is more than ready to begin his retirement after this ordeal. I'm happy for them both. Oh, who's this? <laughs> An old friend, I think. Well, they're a cutie, that's for sure. <laughs> you sound like the Clash of Clans emotes. <laughs> Seems that Flicky found a friend. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I think that's a compliment. I'll take it as a compliment, though. Great 
good job saving the little guy, Espio. It was the least I could do. Sonic, everyone, I sincerely apologize for the trouble I caused. Duffy, you were just following what you thought was the game. It's hard to know that I would, would have done the same in this situation. I would have hit someone with a blow dart. Seriously, a dart? It would have been hard. It would have been hard to get close to you otherwise, Mr. Speed of Sound. Regardless, I am sorry. We're cool. And now that we're all safe, it was fun. This group has a wild idea of fun. Boy, am I starving. I forgot we never ate. With all the clatter, I forgot I completely forgot I was hungry. Me too. I was distracted playing detective. If only you could have seen me, Sonic, I was finding clues, presenting evidence, poking holes in alibis. Sonic? Oh wait, where'd he go? Everyone! Hey, everyone, guess what? The station has a bakery, and look what I bought! No! Birthday cake! He looks awesome! Happy birthday, Amy! Yeah! That's awesome! To, to the confident, unshakable, and radiant, Amy Rose. To an adventure of a birthday, darling. A memorable party every year. To a fun birthday. A ride from start to finish. May our friendship grow stronger each celebration. I admire your tenacity. May you lose your vi may you never lose your vi vivacity. Happy birthday to Amy with her sparkling personality. Happy birthday! I'm not smart enough to know if per per personacity is a word. We love you, Amy. Happy birthday! <laughs> you guys! We almost got ridden by a lovely train, but, but, I wouldn't trade these adventures for anything. Never in a million years. You guys won't ever leave me, right? Wouldn't dream of it. Now, let's have some cake. Fuzzy lore has expanded. Nate is canon and canonically beat Fuzzy. Oh my gosh. Wait, you actually finished it? No way, dude. You finished it in the same stream of, of of my same stream. That's crazy. Now, let's have some cake. Yes, please. Jiggered everyone. Yay! I hope it's chocolate. <laughs> it's not chocolate? <laughs> Starts beating up tails. <laughs> Yo, it's Sage and Metal Sonic! <laughs> let's go, Dad. Oh, no! That train's never making it here, is it? <sighs> Orbart, prepare a bath! The happy rubber duck or the angry one? Angry! Sour choice your evilness! Shut it! <laughs> and that's my story of when I met Sonic and his friends, entangled in their lives for a fleeting moment. And then back to things as they were. Cities realized Eggman was running this train station and fought back to seize control. Everything's squeaky clean now. And as for me, I. I stuck with the gig. And then. Practiced my singing. And after that. <laughs> I managed to fly to space. Yeah, that's just been my life. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Wow! Yo! Great game! Awesome! Dude. Oh! This game was crazy! I loved it. Awesome! Everyone, thank you so... Dude, dude this game was crazy. This game was absolutely insane. I loved it. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Dude, dude. Yeah, the story writers? Yo, you guys are awesome. Lead character artist? Yes. And Fuzzy's friends canonically fear you. Yeah. We played it through. Let's go. We played it entirely through. Yes. But not in the same stream. 
I wish, I wish we could have done something uh, like this, but done it the entire uh, game, the entire stream, uh, a single stream. I wanted this to be a single stream type deal, but man, oh well, it's fine. Thank you guys so much for joining me too. This was awesome. Uh, play testers, yeah. Ah, uh, staff special thanks. Oh my gosh, this was awesome. Sega. Yay! Fuzzy fears you so much and wants to get away from you. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Dude, yes! Look at all this! Tyson Hess! Tyson Hess! Yes! <laughs> Associate Manager of Lore! Awesome. Oh, Portal 1 or Portal 2 game through and gameplay in one stream? Oh my gosh. No! <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Chat, I cannot do... I cannot do the Portal games. One, I don't have the money for them. And two, my older brother has already got... My brother already has Portal 1 and 2, and he's finished it, and I know everything now, so... <laughs> I know the lore! Bro got punched for nothing? I'm sorry! I didn't mean to punch you! Oh my gosh, this was absolutely insane of a run through. My goodness. This was an absolutely, this was absolutely a wild ride. Imagine Half-Life stream, never played Half-Life. Okay, that I can say I've never played. Never played, never seen anyone play Half-Life, man. This was absolutely amazing. I'm glad I played it. Wow. Or do a live stream reacting to my weird drug tip content? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Who knows? I might do, I might, you know what? That might be a crazy stream. That might do a, be a crazy stream. Oh, oh, big, big the cat, the dog. Whoa, nice. The straight cats outside Justin's house. Oh my gosh. For letting us make this game and thank you for playing it. Happy April Duels Day. Yes, awesome. Thank you guys so much for playing it. Okay, this is a crazy idea. This is a crazy stream idea. Yo, awesome. Do it. <laughs> Okay, this is a crazy stream idea. I go through my subscribers' YouTube channel and watch their content. Who knows? M maybe, maybe that's what I'll do. It's, it's a crazy stream idea, I don't know. But either way, man. Great game. Great game. My content is weird. I hope it is. I enjoy weird content. Great game. Absolutely phenomenal. I I loved it. This game was absolutely insane. I loved playing this. Wow. Awesome. You have to watch me play a FNAF fan game? <laughs> uh, sure, why not? <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, if that's the case, uh, I'm going to end this stream and then I'll start another one so I could watch other people's... Uh, yeah, that, that's all I'll do. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me on thank you guys so much for joining me on this adventure I will see you guys uh, 
like I will see you guys like in a few minutes <laughs> I'll see you guys in a few minutes uh zap you later